Scorpio. It's Obsidian Lotus L. I hope everybody is doing well. I have all these decks out in front of me because I can't, I feel like I want to use them all. I've been resonating with them all, so I might use them all at some point in the reading. Um, before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, keep it positive. Sorry, uh, Trinket likes jazz, apparently. <laughs> very calming. So I feel like I'm in a coffee shop right now. Loving the vibes today. Sorry about if it's distracting anyone. I'm just keeping my baby chill at the moment. Um, Scorpio. Okay. So messages I've been getting for you already today. Um, there's somebody that's either like, okay, you're thinking about somebody, this person's coming to mind and they message you or this, there's, uh, if you're thinking about somebody, just know, I feel like it's kind of like the end um this person's also got you on their mind a lot as well so if you find somebody crossing your mind frequently i feel like it's the two of you both um thinking about each other um friend family member lover however it resonates there's also the energy i feel like of you being judged being picked apart being watched being chosen being um so it could be people in a situation, maybe there was somebody that was dealing with a lot of people and this is like they're picking you. I'm getting feminine energy. So it's like the energy of, oh, why is this person choosing this person? Or why does this person like this person? Or just being looked at in a very judgmental way, picking you apart, picking apart everything you do. And I get that. I've been getting that re like that vibe with some of the comments too lately. So it's definitely resonating with the energy. And it's kind of, it's kind of funny to me because before I even got that vibe to Today. I was picking that up and then had another whack message, right? Um, about ranting about low vibe stuff. And, you know, it only was because it, it really um, hit home with a sensitive subject for me. And it just, you know, a lot of people, it still shows me that, you know, there's, there's a lot of people still have a lot of work to be done, right? So, um, and you can't let that affect you. Um, it's easier said than done, but I feel like that's what the Capricorn full moon was about too, for a lot of us trying to really harness our energy and focus and we were being pushed. Maybe it was a test, right? For me, especially too, like to be, think more logically and not emotionally, right? Um, and the full moon energy. I'm always really careful about my energy for full moons as well. I don't like to get hyped up. I don't like to get in drama because I do feel like it is again, like that energy, powerful manifestation energy, right? For, especially for Scorpios and other signs uh, that are very powerful uh, with manifesting, right? So Scorpio, you got some people looking at you, a little judgy judge, right? But I feel like it's more in the sense of jealousy or just maybe they don't even understand it. It's that kind of mean girls attitude, small town, uh, I'm better than you attitude. I don't know what it is, uh, but it, it's something that I feel like you're not really paying it attention. Um, or if you see it, if it happens, it's just kind of like, you know, especially for my sexy Scorpios, most of you are very sexy, right? So it's that energy of you always have haters because you're so attractive, right? You know, I don't know. I mean, it kind of comes with the territory of just being a fucking Scorpio. You got people looking at you like they fucking just hate the ground that you walk on because they wish they could be you, um, or be as free as you. Somebody's definitely attracted to you and feeling very guarded. Somebody's very uh, watching your every moon because somebody is attracted to you. Maybe they're being guarded in a situation. There's a change coming, air energy, somebody thinking about it, some kind of change there to you. So before I said, uh, thank you for all your love and support. If you'd like to donate before I start, that information's in the description box below. If you'd like to support me, if you'd like to be notified when I have readings, please click the notification button, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that wonderful positive stuff. Show your love and support. Um, I haven't gone back to work yet. Many of you guys know that's why I ask for donations or say thank you for any donations. And, uh, you know, other readers do it too. I'm not alone. 
I'm a single mother. This is, uh, you know, what I've been doing right now with my time until I go back to work. Fingers crossed, hopefully it will be um, within the next few weeks. So uh, that's awesome and scary at the same time, right? But, um, you know, I'm not afraid to, you know, ask uh, if you feel kindly enough to donate um, or if you, if you feel compelled to donate, we appreciate it just through the times that we're going through and making it through. And that's, and we've made it through and been very blessed. And I thank you to everybody that's been a part of uh, my journey and still is, right? It's still an everyday thing. I love you guys so, so much. Um, and that's why I get on here and do this, right? This is why I get on here every day and do this. Um, personals too, if you'd like a personal, that information is in the description box below and they're getting to uh, people pretty quick too. So um if you'd like a same day that information's there as well how to make a payment etc um or just a regular personal um so scorpio all eyes on you i feel like but i don't feel like it's a bad thing um <laughs> all right so this is kind of funny uh jesus i feel like this is it there was like i heard a sigh like jesus right like when is this gonna end when is this going to end? For some of you, it's like somebody might even be interested in that you have no clue or you don't even know this person or you have no interest. You know what I mean? There could be some of that. There's Or it's just the energy of just hateration going on. But it says, I pray for Jesus' help and guidance in this situation. So if you believe in Jesus, here, there you go. Um, or just ask the universe, divine, angels, whatever you believe in, ask for um, the divine's help and guidance in a situation. All right. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Let's go ahead and get some messages going for Scorpio today. Let's go ahead and get some messages going for my Scorpio family. Mercy. I'm kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. So again, you know, be kind and thoughtful towards yourself, right? This is very, very important because I feel like we're, we're, we are our own worst enemies where we beat ourselves up right uh some days it's a daily process kind of having to rewire you know forgive yourself whatever right it could be every hour whatever it is scorpio just learn to you know be merciful on yourself and others be kind and um forgive right so being in this forgiving energy and sometimes people are not always like ready to accept an apology or to be, uh, you know, to allow you to be forgiven and whatever. If you tried, let it go, move on and forgive yourself. Okay. I feel that because some people just want to, to, oh, make you gravel and, you know, oh, you Scorpio, you did this and, oh, Scorpio, you just never, you can't do anything right, right, Scorpio, this is this energy I'm feeling, maybe somebody's made you feel like this recently, also is what I'm getting, fuck that, let go of that energy, <laughs> excuse my language, y'all, but forgive yourself, right, forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be in a situation where you felt like you had to prove yourself to somebody, that it's never good enough, forgive yourself for making mistakes, forgive yourself for setbacks, forgive yourself for, I'm feeling, hearing um, anything that's temporary set you back or put you in kind of a low Lower vibration I do feel that guilt sense a little bit too like this lowering of a you know it we're human you're not always gonna be on a, a perfect high vibration right so again forgive yourself for making a mistake and having to kind of roll with the punches and whatever came energetically with the karmic cycle hold on let me make sure this isn't anything bad knowing him what you got baby here You gotta stop for a sec. Thank you. Okay, so. What are you doing? Okay, okay. Hold on. Um, I'm trying to give them a treat. Good boy. Sit. There you go. Okay, sorry about that, Scorpio. How <laughs> to take care of the little man? Make sure he's not. We got. Uh, I have not. I feel like I haven't fully baby proofed the house yet, so we don't want to end up at the fucking. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, the vet because we saw swallowed something bad. All right, so just when I think I've gotten everything up, he's proven me wrong. Forgiving myself, right? I gotta forgive myself. I'm not perfect. 
faith. I have faith in God to heal this situation. So Scorpio, uh, have faith, right? So if you haven't had faith, have faith now. Hold on like a motherfucker, right? This is what I call faith for me in my life. And it's 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 been like, you know, uh, my whole, um, what I've been writing on for the last, I don't know how long, few years or since my spiritual awakening, but especially through this past year, through what I've been through with my health and just riding the wave and having faith um and believing right uh that god had um was going to heal the situation or heal things in my life right so be enthusiastic i'm passionate about what is the direction now whatever i am most passionate about excuse me is about now is the direction i follow good grief so i feel like there could be a, a little bit of confusion because that was hard as fuck for me to get out about where which direction you want to go but i feel like in this situation have faith that god is going to heal something and you're going to be enthusiastic about it happy about it again there's forgiving yourself possibly forgiving someone else in this situation and just being enthusiastic happy optimistic um understanding that like everything doesn't have to be perfect right all the time expect good things to happen and they will with optimism so get on that level too right remember that we are what we think energy right so you know staying optimistic right getting into the energy of um trying to again if you've been caught up in negative or emotions negativity emotions or just a toxic cycle uh way of thinking obsession for some of you, for that sobriety energy that's been coming out, you know, um, that's going to be important for you, right? So what other messages do we have? Interesting. So sun energy, earth energy, this is really happy energy, being happy, Scorpio. This is what um, my swinging on a motherfucking ray of sunshine energy, right? Um, there's also wisdom. This is wisdom that you already know with it's within you that you've also been provided, right? You, um, you, most of you are very intuitive, right? So this could be taken as, you know, it's like you already know what to do for happiness here as well. Um, okay. And something about peace of mind. Okay, so something that's going to bring you peace of mind. There's some kind of wisdom coming, something that you already know, some knowledge that's going to make you happy. Um, it's going to be a very healing energy, okay? And it has to do with kindness, again, coming out. So the energy of just, it's like treating everyone with kindness. And sometimes it's really hard when, some, when people are really big jerks. Here we go. <laughs> healing energy, being sympathetic, prosperity. It's like you, that's how you're going to prosper right now. Okay. That's how you're going to have power in a situation. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be dealing with that energy. Um, here's prayer and power and there's power in prayer, Scorpio. And that's the fucking truth here. It is. That's come out twice. So that's definitely a sign two or three times, right? Um, heavy emphasis on prayer and meditation right now for you, Scorpio, and the next chapter and where you're moving, okay? There is a new beginning coming through for you, Taurus energy, whether it's with a person, place, or thing. I feel like it's coming out of toxic energy, or it could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay, because the devil's Capricorn. Moon energy, your energy is secret coming out. You could have a secret coming out in regards to a Capricorn energy here that's made you feel horrible, rejected um there's something surprising here there's an emotional pull here okay and justice that's going to be served in a situation that has to do with work money okay crows could be significant pay attention here okay if you see if you're seeing a lot of crows right now okay this message is for you and it has to do with money Things are going to be working out behind the scenes. It has to do with possibly a Libra energy watching you. It doesn't necessarily have to be. This is Libra energy. Here's you, Queen of Cups energy. Um, but there is somebody watching. This could be social media. This is the energy of things working out behind the scenes that have to do with work. You're being emotionally... No, baby. Oh, my goodness. No, you're not a cat. 
You're crazy. No, honey. No, don't do that. You're not a cat. And I, I have, I want to either uh -uh, donate it or sell it. I don't know. We had cat stuff months ago when I was going through chemo. And then my doctor was like, no, you can't get a pet. We'd already gotten this cat stuff. And he's literally chewing on the cat's oh, scratching post. <laughs> oh, someone's confused. Someone's confused, Scorpio. And it could be um, somebody watching you. There's a confused energy, maybe. There's also somebody trying to be something they're not. It's a feminine energy. I feel like it could, it could be the energy that's watching you. something about Leo energy, um, the sun and happiness again, being happy and healthy. Okay. Um, it just kind of feels like whatever this is, there's been something here. Um, that's affected somebody's work or money or financial stability. Some type of ending or something ended that was affecting somebody's financial stability and now they're happy. Could have been with a feminine earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn is coming out. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have? I feel like I wanna grab a different deck. And, <laughs> sure. okay. Make sure crazy is okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Scorpio, you're going to be happy. Ten of Cups wanted to come out. The devil's been fucking with you hard, okay, lately. And that's why. Um, let's see. There's going to be an ending. I just saw the judgment card to something here. Knight of Swords energy. Whatever this spying energy, this watching, intruding on your life energy is, um, there's going to be an ending to whatever this is that's going on. Some kind of tyrant energy. I don't like the way it feels. Um, there's progress and well-deserved progress coming your way. There has been a little bit of a setback here. And, um, I feel like spirit is saying whatever's going on here, there needs to be like a level of like impulse suppression. Perfect example, slightly embarrassing. I'm not sure if I'm going to even say it, but okay. Okay. So I've been single and <laughs> trying to behave myself right you know and um I couldn't even fucking buy a vibrator a new vibrator and it didn't work right so it was the energy of like impulse suppression like needing to suppress like these it was crazy it was I was like okay god okay right like I get it this shit was only 16 bucks embarrassing as fuck having to take it back and not working but <laughs> you guys you know I'm crazy right so here we go um, I was like, you know, message heard loud and clear. Apparently, you know, not even, it doesn't even need to be crossing my mind, right? Sex just needs to be like the furthest thing from my mind at the moment. So with impulse suppression here, um, you've been a little imbalanced. There's imbalanced energy makes sense, right? So, um, but there's well-deserved progress. Okay. You need to forgive yourself. And especially if it has to do with sexual energy or sexual impulses or something that you've made some sort of mistake with in the past. Um, it could have been with a Libra. We have justice energy here, um, but there's honesty, um, truth, the energy of truth, not being truthful or telling the truth about something here, um, but well-deserved progress. So, you know, um, coming out of an energy where like with that devil energy being like, for me as a Scorpio, we get distracted with sex really easily, right? So because we rule that part of the body, right? So it's like, um, it's easy for Scorpios, I feel, to get sidetracked with either a sexual obsession, um, sometimes porn addiction, sex addiction, um, you know, and kind of losing yourself here. So again, it's like trying to 
um, suppress impulses here and being and, 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 and congratulating yourself or whatever it is. So if it's not even a sexual thing, I'm just using that as an example, just as like how funny my spirit guides and God is with me, right? It was like, oh hell no, you're not even touching yourself right now, bitch. Focus, right? <laughs> like, focus, get your mind out of the gutter, right? So there's an en the energy of impulse suppression here. <laughs> Y'all know I'm fucking crazy. All right, so on... There's an energy here of feeling like you need to follow follow the rules or um, there's some sort of level of uh, tradition here. The energy of tradition being important for you and this pa a past energy coming back. Hierophant could be commitment. So there could be some sort of success with a commitment here. Um, something you committed yourself to in the past. Um, someone... Um, this is like a good energy. Um, and this is also like, it can be anything you're committing yourself and your time to, whether it's a family member, um, a child, a lover, whatever, there's the energy here. Um, and there has been here too, also wishy-washy energy for someone in a situation. Um, let's elaborate on that. Yeah. And some conflict. So again, um, I just feel like you need to be in the energy of not really beating yourself up too bad here, Scorpio. Um, and let's see. Yeah, you're there's some toxic energy, low vibe energy that's got you fucked up here. And it almost so it also could have fucked up some money. Um, vibration wise, yeah. There's something that is over, some kind of a spiritual attack. I'm hearing too. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, Sagittarius, um, are all out on the table. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, something's coming to an end. It's like the the darkest before the dawn. Here we go. The Ten of Cups. You're about to be happy as fuck. I like this reading. So some kind of toxic cycle or chains to something. Basically, it's uh, some cycle is going to be over. And I love the way motorcycles sound. It's very freeing to me, right? Um, so that to me also was the energy of like somebody being free, somebody being freed. Um, maybe you like to ride. Maybe your person likes to ride. Um, there's money coming in for you though with the 10 of pentacles. This is... Um, it's building upon success. So if you're already doing well, you're going to be doing even better, right? With the 10 of pentacles, this is the energy of whatever you're doing financially, um, whatever you've been, it's, you're going to be building upon success and it's going to be a very, like your children's children are going to be okay. Energy, like that legacy, building a legacy could even be with a partner committing. Maybe this is what you're deciding to do. Commit to somebody possibly even, you know, um, We've got self-indulgent energy here, wanting to fill a void, temptation, sexual stuff, feeling could be also like with drugs, alcohol, all this going on here, all right? I think you need to forgive yourself for this. You were too self-indulgent in something and you've been feeling a lot, somebody was, um, a sense of guilt here. Okay, so now we're building upon success though. I feel like Spirit is saying, don't focus on that, focus on this, okay? You got to rewire it. Focus on this. Okay. Because if you focus on this, this is negative, right? We're not going to get anywhere happy. Okay. Um, high priestess energy. Stay calm, still, silent. Um, and trust your inner voice right now. Your intuitive awareness here with the high priestess, right? So um, about conflict, about avoiding conflict, about conflicting thoughts too is what I'm hearing. Um, you're really straightforward. There's this energy of like, I just want to work hard. I'm sticking to the fucking plan. Um, and I'm just being straightforward. If you don't like it, you can get to step in right energy. Um, this is also the energy of possibly somebody that could be coming towards you with the Knight of Pentacles moving really slow, but is very straightforward Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This could also be an offer that has to do with money. This is good news of work, home, health. Health, um, and then making dreams come true, a new project, but oftentimes a message about finances. So, um, 
Damn, on the money, right? So we're doing good with money here, it looks like. You're gonna be getting good news. Um, something's going to be happening or something that you've been dreaming, manifesting, like it's a dream come true. Whether it's your dream job, your ideal situation, what's gonna make you happy, feel free and happy to be alive and working and breathing, you know what I'm saying? Just having, I know we can't be like that all the time, but to be in that vibration for you, I feel like it has to do with creativity, Scorpio, and something that's gonna make you happy and offer here. Look, there we go with the bike again, right? So free, there you're gonna be free. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe being freed to do something or free working for yourself. Okay, so um, letting go of anxiety and fear. Uh, maybe you're gonna be let. Cause this is me resonating with me, like starting work again soon and kind of let letting go of, you know, fear and being free again <laughs> and. You know, but there is fear associated because I really have been isolated for a long time. And yes, I've been back out in the world, but I haven't been back out in the working world, right? So um, it's scary. It's all it's all process. So I feel like um, there's a lot of anxiety and fear showing up here. I feel like for you, okay, it's resonating with me. Um, I like this message so far, but there's also something hidden here. Uh some buried things might be emerging with the moon card too. So things might be coming out. What is this moon energy? Something about you being very attractive. Good luck though with a black cat too. So there's going to be something here. You're inspiring others. Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Um, somebody could be offering you uh, some kind of mentorship or seeking guidance from you or seeking mentorship from you possibly seeking wisdom um wanting you to teach them something here if you teach something um because there's this energy of inspiring others being very charismatic um beautiful very confident um being able to keep things in balance finances responsibilities personal stuff so i don't know if this is like some kind of life coaching energy coming out somebody might be offering you some kind of a position or working with something here yeah because there's mental strength here and how um new idea some kind of new idea okay that's gonna be um bring clarity to your life it's revolve in involving a perception, letting something go and having strong communication skills uh, moving forward here. Okay, so, um, and letting go of what you're powerless over. Okay, so again, freedom again, you're free. So I feel like it's because you're so independent here, you're attracting, it's almost like you're attracting somebody or something here. It could be, a, again, I'm feeling money, some kind of um, energy here with an opportunity to teach something here that has to do with spiritual wisdom, latest news, maybe it's a blog, um, ideas, fresh thinking, learning, I, different um, activist energy with a page of swords too. So there could be some kind of opportunity working with a group or teaching, but it feels very inspiring again. All right, so um, and it's voluntary sacrifice as well with the hangman. So it's kind of selfless, whatever it is, and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Maybe this is what's bringing this 10 of cups energy and to walking away, leaving things. It's time to, to seek solitude and walk away from low vibe shit, right? Um, and really let go of this dissatisfied, disappointed energy because what that keeps you in is lower vibrations, right? Um, ask the people in my comments. They know. Right? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I love you guys. What other energies do we have coming out? Something within a few weeks is going to be really important for you. The decision isn't hard for somebody. Something's happening within a few weeks and it's a really hard decision for someone. So let's see what else comes out. Whatever is going on, whatever will be going on, it's going to be a hard decision for someone. There was wrong timing in a situation now or at a different time. Um, somebody was jealous in a situation and there's a twin flame soulmate connection. Somebody could have, uh, interrupted or 
separated a twin flame connection because of money. They saw money. Your person could have money. It could be associated with money. Um, somebody th sees through somebody's bullshit brown eyes and then somebody has brown eyes and then somebody thinks that your eyes are unforgettable. You know, like the eyes are the window to the soul. Shit, I was about to say it. This person can read your mind like through your eyes, basically telepathic connection. So it could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. It's somebody that you could literally just look at and you can communicate. Like the two of you literally can communicate with your eyes. There's a snake around that came out earlier when I did a pre-shuffle energy. It's an ex-lover for a pre-read energy. So pay attention to signs that the universe is giving you and somebody wants you to accept their apology. Okay. So again, there's an apology coming your way. That was in the beginning of the reading. What else do we have, Spirit? There's extreme manipulation in the situation. Somebody's obsessed and then somebody's heartbroken. Air sign energy, ghosted energy, and somebody's waiting. What else do we have, Spirit? I'm feeling this music, y'all. I like, I listen to everything, you know? <laughs> I listen to rap. I can, look, three came out. Hardcore, death metal, jazz. You never, you'll never, you never know with me. Ocean waves, but my dog really, it really, this calms him. And it's really, it's really actually kind of calming for me. So, um, you got four of wands, two of wands, and then three of cups. This is, um, this is like pure love. There's a situation coming your way, Scorpio, that's going to be celebrated. You're want, you're going to want to celebrate each other. This is that 10 of cups vibe. I love it. Um, Things might have kind of been like unstable because the four of pentacles was in reverse, possibly in the past. But this is the energy. There could be moving in together. Four of wands is home energy. Soulmate, twin flame. Two of wands energy. It's like I can almost touch it. I can see it. I can. It's almost there, right? Some of you can even feel it. This person's energy, even though there's no communication, you can feel this person's energy or the energy coming towards me, towards you. I can, I can feel this energy, whatever this is. Um, 10 of pentacles. And this is also a blessing from the universe. You're being rewarded. Um, no, you, you know things. Okay. Here are fun energy. Your spiritual teacher have spiritual wisdom. Um, Some of you, this is going to bring money into your life somehow. It could be speaking to other readers. Uh-uh. No, baby. I'm almost done. What happened? What happened? He, like, leaned on the cord. I thought he was about to start going to town. Some of you, I mean, you could be readers. You could be starting your own channel. Or you could be um, traveling. Wow. Wow. A lot of cars came out, but whoever's traveling doing something is going to be doing really well. This is a divine power or gift that you have. Um, and you're going to possibly be traveling, learning something here that has to do with art. But this is divinely guided energy. And this is, um, it's like this, uh... It's time for whatever this is. Like, so you're being divinely guided or pushed into the energy of whatever this energy is artistically for you. Um, it has to do with art. So you could do something with music. You could do something with art. Um, you've got options. You're going to be happy. Okay. And... Um, you're going to be traveling. Some of you are going to be traveling, learning something um, that has to do with some kind of artistic talent, working with someone, because I just saw this energy card. But um, whatever you're feeling right now or emotions here with the sun card, the, whatever energy here, 
with this decision you make or will be making is going to ultimately make you very happy, right? This is basically moving towards, this looks all weird now. My table looks like shit, it's junky. There is happiness here, Scorpio, okay? So you're gonna be feeling, I feel like there's a, a wide range of emotions here, but it's the energy of overall feeling happy and healthy because of a decision that you made, okay? Or that you will be making and take it easy on yourself and everyone else, right? So um, let's do the sexual tarot and then we'll do angels right after that because that just makes sense, right? Because <laughs> we're gonna pray after we look at the, no, I'm just kidding. Pray after we talk about this, we, get, we need to pray. All right, so, oh, the 10 of pentacles, something is like, uh, something feels like a burden, but it also, it's fiery, it's passionate, 10 of wands, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, these people are outside, so it's almost like the energy of something might be a burden, but it's like, uh, you can't keep your hands off somebody vibe, energy coming towards you, or this is what you're in, um, this could be a very casual thing. Um, seven of wands, knave of pentacles. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking, hold on. Somebody likes to see you, um, wants to see you turned on. Be careful because I'm seeing like this guy with a cup here. Be careful about being out drinking something. Somebody wants to see you turned on enough to do something like fuck outside. Excuse my language, but that's the energy that I'm getting. Or there is the, it's the energy of like, I can't keep my hands off you, right? So, and, and you allowing it. So protect your energy with the seven of wands. There's somebody that's gonna be in a situation here where you, mm, be careful about. Watch your drink if you don't know somebody, okay? Or if you do, I don't know if you're getting a weird vibe. Look, there's a lizard behind her. <laughs> not a snake. Maybe not quite not, not quite as bad as a snake, but we do have a lizard. All right, so. Five of swords energy. Deceptive. He's like sneaking her clothes off here. Okay, so just be careful. Um... Here we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. You do have, I had the Knight of Pentacles again in your reading before. So definitely a strong energy. Somebody coming in slow. Somebody coming in really slow, but it's, they're going to offer you stability. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This person is very logical. Okay, this person thinks about what makes sense. This person likes to provide and take care. They're very nurturing. Their love language is giving or being giving. Like this is how they show affection with people or um, communicate how they feel or express their love. See how he's offering her something here. Um, I like that. What else do we have? Knight of Wands energy, but I mean, hey, Scorpio, they still wanna fuck like so. <laughs> they they wanna offer you some stability, but wanna have fun. Watch out, we have a tower energy. Somebody could be attached to somebody else, so just be careful. Or there could be somebody that you are attached to that could be very jealous about this happening. Scorpio energy, there are two men here with a woman. Okay, so third party energy. Creative energy though. Um, Interfering energy. Somebody's being creative about interfering with some kind of a connection is what I'm getting as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a situation. There's a third party here. All right, somebody's got feelings they're not expressing. They watch the shit out of you. They're really thinking about it here, Scorpio. This person is a little bit, um, we have water energy, air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person, it's like a, a dom, okay? They like to kind of, it's almost like, I feel like this humiliating energy sexually. Uh, again, we're gonna have to pray, right? <laughs> um, and he's like forcing his finger in her mouth in this card. This person thinks about this with you. Like when they look at you, 
they're not telling you that they're not expressing that there's a strong sexual desire here when they watch you that's almost like an obsessive thing thought thing like uh the devil's on their back here somebody's really thinking about wanting wanting it basically um gemini energy lovers and there's two people here so again there is a third party situation going down so be careful or there will be for somebody somebody meet in a tower because of it here uh this is going to surprise you though i feel like it's going to surprise you whatever energy this is water energy emotionally you're going to be drawn to it because there's an emotional new beginning here but look there's a snake by his foot so there is snake energy um, all in the reading, it's attached to one of you. You or your person. All right, let's see. Spirit angels, ancestors, guys, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Two of Pentacles, fortune and fame, nine of cups, being happy, things coming into fruition. Okay, spiritual communication. And then... Um, this is fulfilling any request, fortune, fame, whatever it is that you're, you're not saying that you're going to be famous. You could be, um, somebody is going to definitely be traveling, making money, doing something artistically. This could bring you fortune and fame. This could be, you know, the nine of cups, uh, why your angels are so persistent about, you know, staying in a high vibe right now and being happy. Okay. With your energy and spiritual communication, why it's important. Because this is, you've been di given divine grace. You have a divine talent. And it's its its going to be used to raise the vibration is what I'm hearing. Okay, so I love it, Scorpio. King of Swords energy. Eight of Swords energy. There's a victory and somebody cannot stop obsessing about something here. Um, they just want everything to be kind of like peaceful, whether it's you or someone else. Four of Wands energy. This is mind, body, and soul. This is in the home. Could be something to do with the home. Um, spiritual communication. Again, you could be moving in. Four of Wands. And this is also Twin Flame. There could be spiritual communication between you and a Twin Flame. Love is the universal medicine. Nine of Wands. I feel like for this is... There is an energy. The two of you have both been through a lot. Maybe that's why you can look at each other and like speak telepathic communication, right? Without saying anything. Um, look. Victory in some endeavor. Okay, so there's going to be victory with the V. Okay. <laughs> Victory with a V. What else do we have for Scorpio before I end it? Sun, happiness and well-being. I love it. Leo energy. You're going to be happy. Um, this is the energy of swinging on a motherfucking ray of sunshine. So whatever has been going down recently with your energy, just, you know, have no fear because there's going to be um, the darkest, I feel like, is behind you and there's a new day, right? A new a new dawn and happy energy. And this is happiness and well-being. So being happy, being healthy, um, and trusting your divine guidance at this moment is going to be the most important thing for you at this time. Um, I'm going to end it here. I feel like this is just going to be some interesting comments, you guys. I'm feeling it. Y'all know I'm crazy. Can't wait to read them. I love you. If you'd like a personal, that information will be in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, bye.